Okay, part two of speaking. For with part one, although it's the easiest part, but it's very important because at that point, it really determines whether you leave a good impression on the examiner or not. But the next section in part two, it really tests you a number of skills. First of all, preparation. Second of all, to be able to use what you've prepared, make changes, adjustments on the day you do the exam. Okay, and another thing is to be able to talk logically. Okay? With part two, okay, although there's just so many possibilities of different questions that we might get at least each time, but I've divided them roughly into six main topics. So in my speaking class, I usually ask my students to prepare six topics only. And with those six topics, we will be able to cover all the questions that they ask me. Okay, with just a little bit of twisting around and adjustments. So it is the topic. Okay, when it comes to describing an object, okay, sometimes the examiner might ask you, what is could you please describe me a favorite gift? Okay, could you please um, tell me um, what is your favorite possession? Or tell me some expensive thing that you bought last year. Okay? So those all become these all belong to the category describing an object. Okay? When it comes to describing an object, I usually ask my students to prepare two topics. One is electrical equipment and this one is vehicle. With those two, we can cover every question they ask me in terms of object. Why? Because in the IELTS speaking part two, they will never ever ask you a question such as, please describe me a table, or please describe a teddy bear. They don't do that, okay? The most specific thing that they've ever asked students to describe, one is electrical equipment, and one is vehicle. And all the other part two questions are pretty general. You know, they would ask, oh, could you please describe, uh, you know, your favorite gift. Then I would say, my favorite gift was the vehicle. Oh, please describe, you know, your favorite position. You know, I like my electrical equipment. Okay, for those uh, students who haven't done part, uh, who haven't done IELTS before, okay, part one, usually four to six minutes, they will ask you a few questions about yourself. And here's part two, where you will get a cue card, like the one on the first page. Okay, you will have a minute to think about your answers. Okay, and then you will have two minutes to talk non-stop around this topic. And that comes a problem. Two minutes talking non-stop. Okay, one of the most frequently experienced problems is people don't know what to talk about. They, don't, they can't fill up their two minutes. That's why we need preparation to provide some guidelines. Okay, you might say, oh, electrical equipment. Uh, I've got a rice cooker. Well, it cooks rice. What else can I say about it? First of all, where did you get it? Okay, when did you get it? Did you get it last Christmas? Okay, and how did you get it? Who gave it to you? Was it your parents? Did you buy it from a shop? And why did you get it? Is there like a particular personal story that you could tell me? For example, for me, my favorite piece of electrical equipment is actually an air fryer. 空气炸锅,就是那种不用放油的,直接可以炸的. Okay, if, if I'm asked a question like this, I would first say, well, I got an air fryer last Christmas, and my parents gave it to me as a Christmas gift last year. 
and then I will tell a story of why, okay? It's because I'm a big fan of fried food. Okay, when it comes to chicken wings, fried chips, potato wedges, okay, you can tell from, you know, my weight, but, you know, but my parents knew that they can't really stop me from eating those unhealthy foods. So they thought, you know, why not just give her an air fryer so then she can eat her fried stuff in a healthier way. So after when, how, giving your story as to why, now we need to just come to the actual object. What does it look like? So the shape, like the color, even the texture, you know, when it touches, is it smooth? Is it two layers? So now we are talking about the appearance. Can everyone see? Okay, from now from the outside, now we are not more fancy. We can see how it can do what? The functions. Okay, probably I press this button, it cooks vegetables. I press that button, it cooks chips. Shape, color, functions. And now we bought something. It must be a good thing. That's why I'm willing to talk about it, right? And it must have made some changes in your life. In my life, my air fryer has made my life so much more convenient, time efficient. It saves me time, okay? And it's really healthy, okay? Ever since, you know, I had this air fryer, I was still eating my fried stuff, but I lost 10 kilos. I could say that. So, how did it change your life? And another thing is, when we're taking the ALT exam, we want to try to make it sound less like an exam. Okay, I don't want it to be feeling like one question, one answer, one question, one answer. We try to make it like we are friends and we are talking. So, when you talk to someone, you try to open up. Okay, open up by telling them about how you feel, your personal comments and feelings.